Well, what I'm working on here today is a 03 Accuracy L Type S. It's the same as the Honda for most of them, and I am going to change the intake O ring on the power steering pump. It's number 17 right there. Let's see now, where is There it is. That's it right there. Went to Honda and got it. They had it. Now, this is what it looks like when it's apart. This little guy goes on there like so it's not that hard to get off kind of tricky with some of the stuff but uh, I've already had this off before and replaced this o-ring but I didn't replace the intake one so it's making a little gurgling sound a little whining sound and I'd kind of like to get rid of that so uh, when you take this thing off you take this uh, bolt out this is the pivot bolt and this this is the adjustment bolt down here and there's a nut that goes on there and you got to take it off all the way and the belt just hangs there loose and you're going to take it off and get oil everywhere and that's fine uh, i have some simple green and some water and just rinse things off uh, that's what it looks like i'll try to get some step by step back together business here in just a moment all right so the old o-ring was pretty brittle i uh, couldn't find any cracks on it but i'll have to get it under some bright light and a magnifying glass to see that but uh, I've got the new one installed I recommend to use some type of lubricant on there I use trans gel on all my o-rings they need to be lubricated you could probably just lubricate it with some power steering fluid it's not that big of a deal I know everybody wants to know how much to torque this bolt down to and I have no idea <laughs> it's probably something in the inch pounds so in that case there, I would probably say maybe 80 to 100 inch pounds. I'm going to hit it with my impact driver and call it good. I need two hands. Okay, so we're going back together here. See if I can get the light in the right place. Get that bolt lit up. There, it's lit up there. There, that right there. Alright, so you need to reach down in there with your hand. And put that nut on, trying to get it lit up good. That's hard to get it lit. So anyway, that's a difficult thing to do. One hand is here. I'm going to try it. So I just got that nut on the end of my hand there. And I'm going to wiggle it down until I get it to go on that bolt there. Let's see if I can get it on there. Well, that's a tricky little guy, isn't it? I don't normally do this, but today I just feel like doing it. How about that? Not much I can do with my other hand in this case. This is just something that you have to be patient with. There we go. See, look at that. Whoa, you, you're a professional mechanic now. You can put that on there, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Oops, I turned it the wrong way. <laughs> anyway, so there we go. We got it to turn. Had some little giblets of crud somewhere. Don't want it to allow it to turn with one finger. But that's good enough, all right? So this thing here, the adjustment bolt, is 12 millimeter. And that other bolt that goes over here is 12 millimeter. Zoom out for you. These two are 10 millimeter sockets. So we'll get all this on there and I'll get another shot here in just a moment. Alright, so here goes the next one. One handed operation here. I like to put all these on there while it's all loose so that you can mess around with it and get it to line up better. It's crooked now, there we go. There we go. Yeah. I'm not going to be able to do it with one hand. Hey? Okay, so I got it started. I'm going to tighten it up with a quarter inch drive ratchet. This O-ring here is something you have to be careful with too. Before you tighten these up, push this all the way down flat first because if it goes on crooked 
and you'll pinch that o-ring and cut it off and you'll have problems so push it on flat finger tight like this just hold it down and then you can run them to 10 millimeter bolts in so right now all the bolts and nuts are on the belt's not on i'm going to put all that stuff on there and wash it with some simple green i've got a capture can down there to pick up everything got a mess down there with oil but that's the way it is that's how life is on this type of deal all right so i got everything on there is all tightened up i put a clamp on there and my belt's good i need to adjust it just have to check it but other than that though there's not much else to see it's all together hope this helps somebody have a good day